Hey y'all, I've been uh, taking another look at Pleon Linux. I haven't uh, used this program in a while. It's a front end for uh, Wine. Uh, Wine is stands for Wine is not an emulator, uh, but they've added a lot of nice uh, features to it. And you can get it from the Ubuntu Software Center. However, it's an older version, so just go to PleonLinux.com and hit the downloads page and uh, it has it for all kinds of different uh, Linux distri distributions obviously you choose Ubuntu there is an option to install it from the command line however I like to if it's there it's uh, download the, the buy-in file and once that's downloaded uh, you just double click and uh, the software center will open and it will install it for you. Right now, I'm, uh, if you can look up here in the tray, whatever, is I'm um, downloading uh, a game from Steam that I purchased, uh, Dead Space 2. And the way to go about that is, uh, where is it here? Here's the play on Linux main interface, and you can choose to have shortcuts or whatever. So I have a few games installed, not too many. Um, but all you do is you go to install. It's a pretty simple interface. And more than just games, but we'll go right to games. So, for example, Dead Space 2, you hit that. And sometimes this comes up up here with a rating, but oh, there it is. So that's that's a good rating. Now, when I hit install, okay, it'll give you a choice to install from a, your CD if you have the that version to install, or install from an, another executable, or to install from Steam. So what it will do when you say install from Steam, it will download. Steam itself, get all the libraries um, necessary, uh, the runtimes and stuff for Windows, DirectX, etc. And then uh, launch Steam, sign in with your username, password, and then uh, get the verification in the email, and off you go. And there we go. It's a uh, um, little over an hour to download. And if just a quick look. Like I, this has really been updated. Uh, the interface here, uh, accessories. There's like Seven Zip and Amazon Kindle and Resource Hacker, which I guess would become an handy. I don't know. Uh, development tools. Uh, be good for people that uh, have per maybe purchased uh, Dreamweaver from Macromedia or Flash or whatever. Uh, you can install it. I I did install Notepad. Plus plus, which is in the other section here. Well, I can open that, and you can see this is Notepad plus plus. Pretty plain looking uh, uh, menu and stuff, but hey, it gets the job done. And uh, with this uh, here, EA. Origin. Um, right now it's under testing, so if you hit the. Oops. Where am I here? It's already here, sorry. Uh, if you go to games, testing, get accept the warning, and EA. EA's Origin. Um, sometimes something comes up here. Okay, so it's test installer for EA's Origin. Now I know this works, and I know I have games on there, but I don't know if it will allow me to install them through this Play on Linux or not. And another thing too is uh, good old games is integrated. And there's a ton of games. Um, as you may have seen in my uh, menu here, uh, that Empire 2 and Ground, Ground Control 2 are from good old games. So if you have one, 
they're not all listed, but you should be able to install most of them. Uh, but there's quite a few. So, if, uh, let me see here. It's another game I own from there. Let me just type in dog. Okay. Scroll down. Oh, I can't find the game I was looking. Oh, there's King Kingpin Life of Crime. <laughs> I don't know how well it works, but what happens though is same deal as uh you hit install and then it'll grab the necessary run times and then it'll the first time it'll ask you for your username and password for GOG and then it, it will download and install the game for you. And so far uh, these two games, Empire 2 and Ground Control 2, run perfect. There's absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, one more thing. There is a capture utility, but I haven't been able to get it to work. Maybe I need a NVIDIA-based uh, video card. I have an AMD or ATI card. But, uh, yeah, there's... Uh, this has really come a long way. It's very impressive, and it's, as far as I know, it's uh, open source or at least freeware. They do ask for a donation, so if you find this useful, um, you know, be sure to donate because it's very well done. So that's that's it for this one, and uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.